Hi guys, this is Enigma Inc. once again and today I'm going to do a reading on uh, your relationship. So let us see the person, whoever you're interested in, that you have a crush on or you're already committed to, what are their current feelings for you? Let's begin. So first of all, let's choose an option. Labradorite, number one. Black Obsidian, number two. White quartz, clear quartz, number three. So one, two, and three. Pick one. So, all right. Let's begin with number one. Their current feelings. All right. Group one, people. So many cards jumped out. Eight of uh, pentacles, nine of pentacles, seven of... Uh, Wands and three of swords. All right. So it says that Ace of Cups. So there isn't an, an involvement of love. Okay. Their feelings towards you are very emotional. They have love towards you. They are making all the efforts to man things up maybe you guys are in a separation or breakup right now because of the third person third party involvement it could be their work or it could be a third person in general that uh that uh created mess between you and this person i could feel that you could be a uh, woman watching this and you're asking about someone uh who you were already committed to or there was a relationship some sort of relationship that had grown to some level but because of a third person or third party involvement there was a tiff between you guys and you are in a separation right now and they're trying all the ways to approach you okay and you're doing well in your life you're you're uh, financially independent you're a stable person you're a talented creative person you dress well you look well you have a life of your own so you can also live independently that is what you're trying to show this person that you can also live independently you you do not require them to be happy in your life and they are making all the efforts to mend things up between you guys this is for most of you right so this might not resonate with each one of you so they are trying to you know you're like a challenge for them so they're making all the efforts to come back to you all right, they're trying hard to reach you, to get you. All right, there's love in war. They love you. All right, let's pull romance, angel, cards. Their current feelings. So their current feelings, they are also hurt, heartbroken from you, not giving them much attention as well. But there is strong emotions from both of you. I see most of you. So... The cards that I got is that retreat. So you're taking time for yourself. You're enjoying your own company. Maybe there's a intercaste relationship or there's a relationship between two different people from two different cultures because of which there has been a, a family who's trying to separate you guys or third person involvement who do not want this to happen. Maybe they are already involved with someone or uh, there could be an inter-caste kind of a relationship or a marriage, right? I see most of you, it couldn't be marriage for some of you because you are independent right now. Engagement. So, maybe uh, you, they want to talk to you. They really want to talk to you, but uh, they are uh, separating themselves from uh, the people around them and they are trying to reach you they are feeling really heartbroken and because of some uh, differences religious differences maybe you guys have different mindsets uh, your um, both of you have a different approach towards certain things so there could be a lot of misunderstandings or there could be uh, different cultures you both could be from and this is there needs to be an, a communication between you guys in order to make this work all right maybe you guys are engaged 
maybe you guys are married already maybe you guys are already committed or maybe you guys are already talking for some of you guys are already talking and uh, you guys want this to grow all right so see for most of you it's like you are already separated and they want to communicate to you they want to come to you they want to take you somewhere out and they want to talk to you their heart out so what else all right so it says yes this is the exact situation that i told you so they do love you they do want to talk to you they want this to grow and they have strong feelings for you what is the advice for you guys advice for first group advice for first group okay your prayers are answered. Maybe you want this person to uh, come back into your life or approach you or offer you commitment of some kind or get engaged. Whatever you want from this person, your prayers will be answered. They will come towards you with the same energy that you expect from them. So you wanted this to happen and this will happen. All your great work has opened the door for divine solutions and support. So... What else do I get? Hurt feelings. Home. Maybe uh, you both uh, are living with each other. Or you both have been living with each other. Or you guys uh, could be related with each other through family. Alright. And they're your family person. And uh, one of you could be thinking about something like home. So there's a situation where home is involved. Maybe someone has left the house. All right. And uh, someone wants to come back to the same house. Or one of you could be a homely person. And uh, could be an introvert. Some of, some of you is acting like an introvert because I also get retreat card. So this is an introversion. Okay, someone is just sitting at home and pondering over things like anything. And not really taking action. What else? Also that this person feels like you are a home to them. They feel like home with you. They feel like you are the family. Or they, they feel very familiar with you. Uh, with you they feel like at ease. They feel at ease. At home. So I also see that there is going to be a new job or new career for some. Who could be. Uh, I could see that maybe you have had a new job or a new career. Or they could be having a new job or new career they're working on. And they're putting their best efforts in it. Doing well. But there's some sort of heartbreak because of you. Or you're heartbroken because of this person. Maybe one of you is involved too much in work. So the third party could be involvement in work for some. A distant friend is thinking about you. So they, whoever you're thinking about, is thinking about you. So maybe they're far away from you right now. Or they're in a different country, different place, a different city or state. On a different situation you both are separated so they are a bit far away from you they live far away from you for some and they want to approach you so they're thinking a lot about you because I got retreat I got home maybe they're at home and pondering over you a lot and you're having a new career and you're enjoying your life but they really really strongly want to talk to you so that's all I get for group number one I hope you guys liked it and please do like subscribe and comment uh, if you guys liked it, all right. Okay. All right. For reading number two, Black Obsidian. Let's see. What are their current feelings for you? Alright. 
So here we go for group number two, the current feelings. Okay, King of Swords. Oh my God. The Devil. The Empress. The Page of Wands. Let's pull a clarifier. The Six of Cups. Okay, the Six of Wands. Six of Pentacles and Queen of Cups. I see that they are thinking a lot about you. Maybe you're already committed with someone else or they could be already committed with someone. You could be a Cancer, you could be a Pisces or a Scorpio as well. They could be a Capricorn. I see strongly Capricorn over here. Gemini or Aquarius, they could be in Earth and uh, Fire also. Basically, I see all the signs, but mostly I see Water and Capricorn and a Cancer, Pisces or a Scorpio. So I see that their current feelings towards you are mostly lust-based, physical, all right? I don't see more of emotional involvement from their side. You can see this is... Uh, king of swords and the devil card so they think a lot about you physically so they are very very much physically attracted to you so there's not much involvement uh, with the uh, emotions not, not much commitment so they could be not giving you commitment for sure i think that for most of you so they're emotionally really closed off they could be already married, they could be already in a commitment with someone or you could be already in a commitment with someone but they are bound to you, they are bound to you like anything, they are attracted to you so much that they cannot get over you, they think about you a lot, they are chained with you or they feel that they are chained with their uh, partner and so that's why they cannot approach you, they could be a bit older than you. You could be a younger person and they want to offer you some uh, communication, all right, some care and uh, reconciliation. They want to reconcile with you. There's some sort of separation that's going on. Maybe you I see strong young energy. They could be an Aries, Sagittarius or a Leo as well. So they want to approach you really slowly. So, okay, they want to approach you like real slowly and... Uh, but they are thinking of approaching you. They're very much uh, physically attracted to you. They find you very alluring kind of a person. Very beautiful. You, They see you as a very beautiful person. They want to communicate that to you. They want to give you lots of communication. They want to talk to you a lot. But uh, there's a third party involved. Maybe they're bound to someone. They're bound to their marriage or another partner they're with. And uh, they want to also talk to you. I don't see love anywhere. They do care for you as a they see you as a as an innocent person, as an innocent child who's asking for love. So they want to show you care, but there's not much love involved over here. So their current feelings are to reconcile with you. They want to come up, but they're taking their time. They think about you a lot. You're in their thoughts a lot. They're like addicted to you. All right, they're obsessing over you and they want to talk about that with you. But maybe you are you want love from them. You are in love with them, but they do not want to show you love. They are only physically attracted for you and they are emotionally really, really away from you. They're emotionally really closed off from you maybe because already they are committed with someone or you could be committed with someone. You could be married or they could be married. They're a bit older than you and they want to approach towards you really, really slow. What else? What are their feelings towards you? Let me check romance angel cards. Oh, 
Oh, maybe, maybe you are married or they are married. There's a marriage involved over here. For some of you, they are so much addicted to you that they want to get married to you. But their addiction is mostly, mostly physical. It's, it's not, it's, it's, uh, a twisted kind of a connection they feel towards you they do they might have gotten married with you or uh, they see you as a potential partner marriage partner third party involvement is there but they see you as a potential marriage partner but they cannot commit to you maybe because they're already involved with someone or they uh, could be or they could be uh, crazily attracted to you they think that it's love but it's not love so what else so look for a sign so just see if this person is the right person for you just look for a sign because there's need to be a peaceful resolution between you guys so i think you guys need to sort your problems there's some sort of problems you're going through in this thing so please look for a sign if you guys do not know about they being involved with someone please look for a sign because there needs to be a solution to this because otherwise this is going to come and go like this forever on and off kind of relationship leaving you tied down to them and not knowing where to go so you need a peaceful resolution to this you need to talk to them and know what exactly they want from you right so okay what else okay value your self-worth maybe you're not they're not treating you well maybe uh they are coming and going whenever they feel like so they're they're being emotionally closed off towards you i see that maybe you see that they should you want to get married to them uh, or they could be already involved with someone already in marriage or they see you as someone they can control so if this is a situation please do look for a sign and you need to find a, a resolution to it because you need to value your self-worth you need to tell them what affects you right so always maintain your self-respect so there's someone uh, with a dark complexion or a dark hair all right so uh hard work ahead so maybe you guys are uh, working really hard earning money so there's going to be a new job for you for some or a raise so there's going to be a hard work all right ahead so there might be a peaceful resolution to this you might uh, in, uh understand your self-worth and you might get you might leave this person all right so that's it okay what else mm -hmm. ring so you guys could be already engaged with this person or you guys this wedding on a way for some some people are getting married to someone or this is a person you're going to get married to so a ring maybe someone new is entering your life is going to offer you marriage so remember that all right so anything could happen all right so that's it for second group Let's go with the third one. Okay, so clear quads. So 
So what are their current feelings for group number three? Okay, two of cups. Knight of Cups. Okay. Six of Pentacles. Nine of once. Let's pull a clarifier. Four of uh, wands. Well, Ace of pentacles. I think they want to communicate with you. They want to come towards you with an offer of love. They're having loving emotions towards you. But you're kind of a person who's a bit scary. They find you very mysterious, secretive, and caring. And, uh, uh, and a person they're not much, uh, they don't much know about. So maybe you've put walls around yourself and they find it hard to, you know, get through the layers of you as a person. They feel uh, like committing towards you. They want to offer you a commitment. They want to offer you a relationship. So they're coming towards you, but they're scared. They try to approach you and they get back. They go, uh, they come back and then they try to uh, talk to you and then they get scared and they, then they stop themselves. So every time they try to approach you, they stop themselves because... Uh, they're scared maybe because they think that you might reject them or you're too above their league and they're having some sort of inferiority complex from you as well or insecurity issues as well maybe you might not see them the way they see you and they're not even open they're not able to communicate this thing openly with you maybe because you're not very expressive or you do not like to talk much and you keep, try to keep secrets because of which they're pretty confused as to if they like you, if you like them or not. So it could be a vice versa situation since this is a general reading. So, um, they want to offer you um, love. Well, it means they're on the initial stages of uh, feeling in love with you they do not know about future they're not thinking about future but they want to offer you a relationship they uh, feel immense care towards you and uh, they want to help you in everything they want to take care of you with their six of pentacles uh, you are someone who could be um, an intuitive person I see uh, Sagittarius energy, a strong water energy, Cancer, Pisces or a Scorpio. Cancer and Sagittarius strongly. Aries, Leo can also be there. And uh, Earth energy strongly, which is Tar uh, Taurus, Capricorn and Virgo. So there's a lot of stability in this thing. They want to offer you a stable relationship. They want to take care of you. They, they feel a care towards you and they think that you do not know about this and you might be doing something of a healing kind of stuff. You're quite a healer and uh, you could be a tarot reader as well or you could be into healing, meditation, Reiki sort of things. You could be a teacher somewhere or a professor somewhere and you're a, kind, a wise kind of a person. 
so you're also looking for love you also feel the same way for this person but you want them to approach you but you feel that they do not like you or they do not want to approach you or if it's single-sided but they also feel the same thing about you they have feelings for you so they stop themselves every time they think of approaching you maybe because they're not feeling that strong according to their power what else some of you could be seeing a lot of two 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 number two number two could be lucky for some maybe you guys will get married or they're thinking of marriage with you could be vice versa you are thinking of marriage so you're like a wish come true for them you were worth waiting for but there's some sort of unrequited love i think you guys might not end up together but one of you does think of marriage and they have been waiting for you i see that either you or they mostly they could be waiting for you to offer them something but it feels like this would uh you guys wouldn't get together because one of you wouldn't uh approach wouldn't dare to approach someone is scared you are secretive and they are scared so this might not work out but you both do think of marriage you both think do think of uh, each other equally maybe mad you guys are already married and uh, they there's some sort of issues between you some misunderstandings that they want to clarify you're not ready to listen but if you guys do not patch up there's going to be a separation there's going to be unrequited love so you guys might not end up together if you guys won't show or won't open up your feelings for each other all right what else Someone needs to take action as you can see uh, if this doesn't happen if you guys do not approach if one of you doesn't approach another there's not going to be a commitment or they you guys won't get together what else advice do I have so you guys have been waiting for each other take care of your health all right one of you is not taking care of your health this really thinking a lot and you guys need to relax and you're ready to love again so this is the right time worth waiting for this is the right time for you to love again so go for it it's a good opportunity for you guys what else do i get okay could be a student some uh, someone who is already studying something or they could be a student all right so one of you could be a student somewhere all right so there's go there's going to be renewal between you guys so one of you is a younger energy one of you could be student and there's going to be a renewal all right so renewal of some kind Maybe you guys going to renew a situation with each other. Yeah. What else do I get? Yeah, they could be younger than you. I got this danger especially in money matters so please take care of your money yeah because I got ace of pentacles you might be a, a financially stable person so someone must be having an eye on your money someone is behaving stupidly so there there maybe they are or you are behaving stupidly they're trying to show themselves uh, 
uh, as they do not care but they do so someone is behaving stupidly all right so this needs to end so that's it for the third group of people i hope you guys liked it and if you guys liked it please do comment subscribe like and uh, let me know what else you want in my next videos till then bye bye